welcome to another episode of elixir talks where we discuss information which simplifies real estate and enables you to achieve your goals better in this episode we discuss the tax implications in canada when we talk about real estate investments if we are making our investment as a rental cash flow property how rent revenue is treated and expenses which we incur are viewed to maintain the property when you decide to buy an investment property we need to understand what and how are the tax rules impacting us let us try to address and understand all these and more when it comes to buying and maintaining a real estate rental property for the net income calculation which will attract the tax we need to determine first the gross income and the expenses on our property let us start with first understanding the concept of gross income when you put a property on rent the rent received from the tenants becomes our gross income it would include any other rents received for the property for instance if the property has a paid laundry facility and it is shared by other units in the building the revenue from the laundry machines will be part of gross income if there is any advertising sign on the property and you are generating revenue from there it would contribute as well to our gross income now let us understand about expenses they are of two kinds current expenses and capital expenses current expenses are the expenses which provide short term benefit like repairs to air conditioner unit which will allow it to function the same way how it was acquired initially cost incurred in the current year for home insurance utilities property taxes painting the exteriors etc another way to understand current expenses is that these are the items that usually occur after a short period they can be also regarded as any repair expenses which ensure the functionality of the property is retained so repair of any hvac plumbing electrical equipment in the investment property would be considered as current expense interest any mortgage interest component in your monthly mortgage which you pay to the lender for your borrowing is tax deductible principal repayment as part of the mortgage which builds your equity in the property is not tax deductible property taxes this is the house tax which municipality charges you based on the local municipality's tax rate and the mpac assessment value this amount is paid to the city and it is tax deductible in a rental property home insurance the premiums which you pay for the coverage of your rental property to the insurance company is deductible on your taxes the full premium amount however if you are having a portion of your primary residence as a rental unit then only part of the premium would be qualifying for a tax deduction utilities are another significant expense when we buy an investment property and rent it out if you pay the services like hydro gas water as a landlord they are tax deductible advertising for leasing your unit if you put a classified advertisement in print or social media this expense is claimed as tax deduction management fees if you pay a fee or compensation to a person or a management company for the day to day management of the investment property this is also tax deductible now let us discuss about capital expenses these are the long term expenses the expenses which provide us lasting benefit for several years for example when we change the roof of an investment property and we spend suppose 10000 its benefit will continue for next 15 years so in this case the deduction cannot be for the full amount but the amount is spread across many years these long term capital expenses will be deducted using capital cost allowance calculations which your accountant would be able to determine along with you there are some signs how you can determine whether an expense is a capital expense as another example 
if suppose we replace the vinyl siding in the exterior of a property, it has a lasting benefit as it will continue for years together. This will be considered as a capital cost. Another identifier is if the cost of a repair improves the condition beyond its original condition, it is a capital expense. As an example, if we have a asphalt driveway and we replace it with interlocked stone driveway, it will be regarded as a capital expense. If the expense is a cost of replacing a separate asset within the property, it is considered a capital expense. For example, if the refrigerator breaks down in a property and we end up replacing it altogether, it would be considered as a capital expense. Another scenario is that if you purchase a property and have expenses to maintain it in order to make it usable or rentable, that will be considered as a capital expense, even though in regular BAU it would have been considered as a current expense. In order to make it usable or rentable, that will be considered as a capital expense, even though in regular BAU it would have been considered as a current expense. The fundamental idea is that we want to separate capital expense done in a given year as they will not be fully tax deductible. As we saw the case in other expenses which we discussed earlier. Finally, for tax payments, you simply take your gross income for the property and deduct any expenses incurred during the year along with other deductions as we noted. The resulting amount is the net income on which you will be paying your taxes. Hope this was able to clarify some haze around investment property and their tax liabilities. Thanks for watching and if you like this episode, do like and subscribe for more such content and share with your friends who might be looking for getting into real estate investment and they might find these tax deduction tips helpful. If you have any topics which you would like me to discuss, please drop them in the comment section and definitely we will review them. Stay motivated and I will see you soon. Thank you.